I'm so fascinated by something that I really want to take the time to explore. Um, you know, I've, I've been vulnerable in these videos talking about different experiences that I've been through. Um, I'm going to get, I mean, I, I may have already said this before in a past video, but I'll say it again. Um, another moment of vulnerability. Um, it hasn't really been until, like, more recent in my life that I've started to understand that I actually have needs, right? Um, I'm not going to say what it is that stopped me from being aware of my needs. Um, I mean, you know, like, as a person, you know, you, you have basic needs, right? You, you need to eat, you need to use the bathroom, you need to sleep, you need to do this, that, and the other, right? Um, but in terms of other needs as well, you know, um, emotional needs, physical needs, different things like that, um, I have a lot of experience with, um, codependency. Again, I'm not going to say why, but, um, because of that, my needs either came second or just not at all, right? And so, like, looking at that element of not at all, which is what I think that this has more to do with, actually, um, I have, and I take full responsibility, I'm not here to blame anybody at all, I swear, um, I have neglected myself, uh, throughout my life, I've done, um, what other people want me to do, um, for the, the love, the acceptance, the validation, the approval, all of that stuff, um, I just think that it's so fascinating that a human can actually be out of touch with their needs, right? Like, they don't know what it is that they need. Probably, well, I mean, it, it would have to be because of how they were raised, right? Um, they maybe were raised to, you know, cater to everyone else's needs, right? And... It's just, it's so fascinating that you can go throughout your entire life like that. It really is. Like, going throughout your entire life, being unaware of, and also, like, not choosing to do the best that you can for yourself, right? Not choosing to actually put your own self first. Um, just caretake everyone else, you know? Um, physically, emotionally, all that stuff, right? Um, it's, it's just wild that a person can be out of touch with their needs. It really is. And so, like, as I approach this era of my life where I'm healing and I'm really learning to take care of myself and put myself first and everything, um, again, like I was saying before, I've done things throughout my life that I didn't want to, my fault entirely. I always chose to, um, do that, right? Um... You know, there, there was there was never a gun to my head. Um, but, you know, what, what's, what's fascinating is that, like, I feel like there is a sense of death that comes with, like, when, when, you, when you get used to, when you get familiar with a pattern of behavior where you are just consistently uh, neglecting yourself and not doing what you actually want to do and doing something else because you think that you have to, because you think that that will bring you love, acceptance, validation, approval, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Um, so, like, looking at it from afar, right? And I'm, I'm even kind of just, like, looking at my own self right now, but, um, like, looking at it from afar, like, you know, every person has needs. I mean, of course, you know, we all need to use the bathroom, we all need to eat, we all need to sleep, those basic things, right? But, like... I would argue that we all need connection. We all need, you know, intimacy. Um, we all need to have our emotional needs met. We are social creatures. Um, we need each other. Um, and it's just, it's so fascinating that a human being can go throughout their entire life accepting, like, just not doing what they actually want to do and doing what other people want them to do so that they will be loved, they will be accepted, they'll be validated, they'll be approved of, you know, um, it feels kind of weird to 
like admit that I've been very out of touch with my own needs, but um, like more recently, like I'm looking at everything and yeah, I'm realizing that I've done a bunch of things that I didn't want to. Um, and it's just so fascinating. It, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like wow, Chris, how did you fucking breathe through that, right? How did you how did you survive through that? How did how did you how did you not do things that you wanted to do and actually do things that you didn't want to do? Right? Like it's it's kind of like a it's a fascinating like I don't know um, unfolding of just like survival. Like I don't know like. If you need oxygen, like, you literally need oxygen to breathe, to live, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I can go a day without painting if I have to. I can go a day without singing if I have to. I can go a day without expressing myself in a certain way if I have to, right? And, you know, like, these, these extra needs, these emotional needs and everything, I think that you can go a certain amount of time without having them but then a cer at a certain point you know the it, it kind of gets to be like well where's the cutoff when do I actually start doing this for myself right um and so that's where I'm really just like looking at this whole process and like realizing like wow um throughout my entire life I've been very out of touch with my own needs and I'm not talking about my basic needs no those are fine I'm talking about like how I express myself, and also, like, the, um, the relationships that I have, the, how I feel in the relationships, um, I've really not been serious about taking that serious, and actually understanding the difference between a healthy relationship and an unhealthy relationship, um, specifically in regards to, like, friendships, um, and also past uh, relationships, like romantic and everything, um, I dealt with things that I didn't know were unhealthy. And I always thought that they were normal. Um, and so I accepted them. It's kind of like, you know, you, you accept the love that you believe that you deserve, right? So I accepted them, and yeah, I was just like, like, coming out of... <laughs> I was gonna say, coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. <laughs> no, but really, like, coming out of, like, hiding for so long, like, coming out of fucking oblivion for so long, it's kind of wild to, like, like, when, when you, I mean, I don't know how much this applies, but a person that was adopted, right? Imagine they have no clue that they were adopted, right? They really can't tell. Like, they, they actually, same skin color, they look somewhat similar to the parents, right? And then they find out after, um, I don't know, decades, right? And I'm talking decades, right? Um, that's fucking wild, you know? To, to find out that, you know, on the other end, what I've been talking about... To find out that not only, like, have you not been catering to your needs, like, beyond your basic needs, like, emotional connection, this, that, and the other, right? Not only have you not been catering to that stuff, but you never really got to learn that you have that and that you're actually allowed to have that. I think one of the biggest challenges here is that people learn through different things uh, starting very early on in life that they're not allowed to have needs, right? They learn that that's just not allowed for them. And it's like... I mean, you can be, like, psychologically fucked out of that. And when I say that, what I mean is, like, you can be manipulated to believe that... You... <laughs> you there, there are some dynamics where you can actually learn to believe that you are an extension of other people. You are a fucking shell of a human. You are subhuman. You solely exist to take care of somebody else's fucking needs, right? And that oftentimes is how the process unfolds of learning that you don't have needs, that you're not a human being, right? And 
it's just such a wild thing. It really is. I'm so fascinated by everything. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's a cool thing to like learn about your own needs as a person and stop thinking that you have to, I'm not, I'm not telling people to stop thinking about, um, hold on, let me make sure I'm saying that correctly. I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling anyone here to stop doing anything. Um, but for me personally, like, I'm looking at stopping thinking that I need to just cater to everyone and do everything that everyone else wants. Um, because I don't. I do not. I does not. <laughs> and it's just really cool to look at everything from afar. And see it for what it is. And where it came from. <laughs>